welcome, welcome, welcome to story time. Welcome, welcome, come right in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time. Welcome, welcome, let's begin. Welcome to story time here at Auburndale Public Library. I'm Miss Rhonda. I'm Miss Isabella. And today we're going to have a lot of fun being brave. Ooh. Yes, being brave. And so our story today is Brave Enough for Two. All right, Rhonda, I'm excited. Yes. All right, let's see who's in our story today. Hoot was Olive's very best friend in the whole wide world. But as you know, best friends don't always like the same things. Take, for example, adventures. Olive preferred the kind found in books. Hoot, on the other hand, well, he preferred something a little different. One day, Hoot said, I've made something special for you, but it could be a small bit scary and slightly bigger bit adventurous. You know, I don't like adventures, said Olive. I'm not brave like you. Don't worry, said Hoot. I'll be brave enough for both of us. It's very nice, said Olive when he showed her what he made. Does it go very high? A little, said Hoot, climbing into the basket, but not too high, Olive followed after. Up they rose over rooftops and treetops till the ground looked like a giant patchwork quilt passing beneath them. What do you think, said Hoot? I think this is what it's like to be a cloud, said Olive. But we've gone way more than a little high. Just then, a drop of water landed on her nose. The clouds darkened and thunder cracked with a flash of light. Giant drops poured from the sky. The wind swirled. The basket rocked. What if the wind blows as far away and we get lost, said Olive. Hoot squeezed her hand. We can never be lost, he said. So long as I'm here and you're there and here and there aren't very far apart. All of a sudden, the sun poked through the clouds. The wind calmed. Look, said Hoot, a rainbow, Olive smiled. Hoot untied the balloons one by one and lower and lower the basket dropped till it scraped the ground and toppled over. The pair rolled out, head over bottom into a patch of grass. We made it, said Olive in surprise sort of way. What should we do now? Of course we made it, said Hoot, and now I have another idea. Hoot pushed the basket into a nearby river. I've never been in a boat before, said Olive. Then it will be the first time for both of us, said Hoot. Will we go fast, said Olive? Maybe just a little, said Hoot, trying to get the river boat going. The boat bobbed and spun like a carnival ride. What do you think, said Hoot? I think we're going a little faster than just a little, said Olive. Down the river they sped till it became a bubbling cauldron of rocks and waves. We're going way too fast, said Olive, who paddled with all his might. Don't be afraid. I'll keep you safe. And he did. But on shore, who stood silent. What's the matter, asked Olive. Who picked up a piece of his stuffing. I'm not feeling all that well. Olive paused, but only for a moment, and then she said, Don't worry, Hoot. I'll lead the way home. I will be brave enough for both of us. Hoot followed her every step. It will be dark, said he, soon, he said. It gets dark. We might get lost. Hoot, said Olive in a kind way, so long as I'm here and you're there and here and there aren't very far apart, we can never be lost. Just as the sun began to set, a familiar sight appeared. Home, said Olive and Hoot together. 
that night, who got a patch? For bravery, said Olive. And tomorrow, how about I choose the adventure? Hoot smiled. I was afraid today, he said, when my stuffing came out. But you were brave, and you kept me safe. Don't ever be afraid, Olive whispered. I'll always keep you safe. And she did. The end. What a nice story. They were both brave. That was so good. Yes. Well, that was very cute. Yes. And Hoot, I love owls. I know. He was, he was so a cute brave. little owl. And so we are going to sing about owls now. All right, here we go. <laughs> little owl, little owl, high up in the tree. Little owl, little owl, blinks his eyes at me. Hooting loud, hooting soft, hooting all night long. I just love that little owl and love his hooting song. Woo, and there, oh, look at that. We have all our little owls all up All our little owls up there. And you know what that means? We get our counting fingers out. Are you ready? You got them, Rhonda? Yep. All Here right. we go. All right. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five little owls on a dark, dark night. Five little owls are quite a sight. Five little owls. Are you keeping score? One flies away, and that leaves four. Four, four little owls as happy as can be. One flew away, and that leaves three. Three. Three little owls calling, woo, woo, woo. One flies away, and that leaves two. two. Two little owls having lots of fun. One little owl flies away, and that leaves one. One little owl, and we're almost done. He flies away, and that leaves None. None. Oh, they're going home for the night. All right. Well, now we're going to be like Hoot and Ooh. Olive, and we are going to go for a boat ride. All right. So get your boat ready, your imaginary boat. Got get boat in your them. boat. <laughs> get your oar. And it may be a spoon from the kitchen. Yeah. That could work. Anything works. Or you just pretend. <laughs> and we're going to row our boat. So here we go. Are you ready? Let's go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. <gasps> Rhonda, do you see that? What? Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is the biggest gator I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. How do you get there? on the boat? <laughs> I don't know, but he does live in the lake. He does. Yes, he does, but I don't think we need him in the boat. No, we don't let alligators on the boat. Bye, Mr. Alligator. Here we go again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh! Got Look fishy. what fell into the boat. How'd you get that? Uh, he just jumped right in. We didn't bring a fishing pole. But I don't want him for dinner. No, he needs to go home. Bye. Here we go. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Rhonda. What? My favorite. A little oh, baby otter. Oh, hello. Oh. Is he all alone? Yeah. Oh my. We oh, need to send him back home. There, there's, there's his, his little brother. You go for him. Bye. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice boat ride. I enjoyed that. That was really good, Ron. Lots of animals on the lake today. Oh, what do we my. got next? Oh, we have something new for you guys. Yes. So, starting now until Halloween, all around Auburndale, we have hidden six QR codes. They look like these. And what you're going to do is take your phone and you scan the QR code right there and you get to watch a little Halloween story. And underneath that is a secret code. And what you do with that code is once you grab your little pamphlet from the library, you're going to write down the code in each spot. And once you get all of them, you come back down here and we give you a goodie bag. So that'll be super fun. And what we have next for y'all is a story about a little squirrel named Nutkin. This is a tale about a tail. A tail that belonged to a little red squirrel. And his name was Nutkin. There he is. He and all the other squirrels lived in a forest at the edge of the lake. And in the middle of the lake, there was an island covered with trees and nut bushes. And in those trees was a house that belonged to an old owl. And his name? Old Brown. When fall came, 
Nutkin and all the other little squirrels came out of the forest and made their way to the island to gather nuts for the winter. They also took with them an offering of three fat mice as a present for Old Brown. Then the little squirrels each made a low bow, and they said very politely, Old Mr. Brown, will you let us gather the nuts on your island? But Nutkin had no manners. And he jumped around and he said, Old Mr. B, Old Mr. B, Ricky Ticky Ticky, do you have anything for me? And Old Mr. Brown, he ignored Nutkin. And he went to sleep. But next morning, they all came back again to Owl Island. And the squirrels brought another gift for Mr. Brown. And they said, Old Mr. Brown, will you let us gather more nuts for your, from your island? But Nutkin, with no manners, again danced around Old Brown and said, Old Mr. B, Old Mr. B, Ricky Ticky Ticky, do you have anything for me? Mr. Brown shut the door in Nutkin's face. On the third day, the squirrels came to the island again for the last time. They brought a big present for Old Brown as a thank you, but Nutkin sang as rudely as ever. Old Mr. B, Old Mr. B, Ricky Ticky Ticky, do you have anything for me? Old Mr. Brown frowned at Nutkin. He was not happy. Nutkin whistled and danced around Old Brown. Nutkin began again. Old Mr. B, Old Mr. B, Ricky Ticky Ticky, do you have anything for me? Then Nutkin jumped right onto Old Brown's head. Oh no. There was a loud squeak and the other squirrels ran to hide in the bushes. When they came back carefully looking around the tree, there was Old Brown sitting on the doorstop with his eyes closed as if nothing had happened. But Nutkin was in his pocket. Brown carried Nutkin into his house, held him up by the tail. But Nutkin pulled so hard that his tail broke into two. Oh no. And he ran up the stairs and escaped out the window. And from that day forward, Nutkin learned to be polite to everybody he met, and he never went to the island to bother old Mr. B again. What a rude little squirrel. All right, Rhonda. Okay. How do you feel about Nutkin? Well, he was. He was very rude. Mm -hmm. And I think that he should learn some manners. We all need to learn manners. Yes. Saying please and thank you. Of course. Bringing gifts, that was nice. <laughs> but yes, we definitely need to have manners. <laughs> well, that's the, all the time that we have today. So we need to end our day. Alright. It's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to say a big hooray and then be on our way. It's time to end our day. It's time to end our day. It's time to say a big hooray and then be on our way. Bye. Bye. See you next week.